right. Hey, everyone. Texas Lifestyle Magazine is here with Bree Kennedy. Thanks for being here with us today, Bree. Thank you for having me. And so how has your experience in Nashville shaped your sound as an artist? It's a great question. I, I think that the music that I make is because of my experience in Nashville. I moved there in 2015, and um, I didn't really know what I wanted to say yet as an artist. And I think getting to play and see my friends play at the basement and the five spot and these like underground venues, it just kind of shaped the way that I wanted to tell my story. Yeah, 100%. Thank you, Nashville. <laughs> Thank you, Nashville. And tell us a little bit about your sophomore album, Scream Over Everything. So I put that out this time last year, and I put it out after a breakup of a relationship of seven years. Oh, wow. So when I put it out, I was so just in work mode, numb, and now listening to the record, I'm like, wow. It was a little bit of a breakup record. <laughs> I didn't know that. And... It also is um, like a, a respect letter to myself to say, listen to yourself and trust your intuition. Um, I think through my 20s, it got easy to kind of forget what my mission statement was. And it was hard to listen to my intuition with all the noise in the world. And that's what I wrote Scream Over Everything about, just getting back in touch with myself after letting some things go. I love that. And so can you share the inspiration behind one of your favorite tracks? from that album? One of my favorite, okay. Retrospect. I think Retrospect is one of my favorite songs on the album, but also to play live. Okay. It's so fun, it feels like a war cry. And at the very end of the song, I say, you know, it messes with my head, but in a year from now, I bet, I'll see you in retrospect. There's a place in my mind I never would have left. I'll see you in retrospect. I wrote Retrospect far before the album came out, before my breakup, and, um, and singing that here today at ACL, literally a year from it, was really, really empowering. Oh, that's yeah. special. Yeah. Love that. And so what's it like collaborating with artists like Willie Nelson or Matt Kearney? Oh, wow. Well, I love Matt so much. I love Will Willie so much. He's actually playing tonight, which is amazing. Um, I've gotten to share the stage and writing room with a lot of, of my heroes. and. They're all just exactly how I'd hope they would be. Um, they're geniuses, and they have their own fingerprint as artists. And I think those have always been my favorite artists. Um, and yeah, it's just endlessly inspiring learning how somebody that I love writes their own story. And I think, I mean, Willie is a perfect example, um, and Matt, and. Yeah, it's just, it's been an honor. I guess that's all I can say. Yeah. Yeah. It's very inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so how do you approach songwriting? What does your creative process look like? It depends. Sometimes I'll just be walking and I have an idea that's absolutely nonsense and sounds like shit, and I'll just sing it into my, my voice memos, and it'll sit there for a few months until I meet the right person in the room to write it with. Um, and sometimes I have just a melody, and. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say yet, but I know what it feels like. Yeah. Um, so it really can start either way, but I do love starting with uh, the notes app, like my diary app, like what I'm going through, just getting really micro about my experience because the harder it is to say out loud, the, the more I should probably write it. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> and so how do you balance writing for yourself and then writing for other artists? It's a good question. In the beginning, it was it was a little bit of a whirlwind um, because I started originally writing out for other artists, mm -hmm. and I loved it, and I loved helping um, somebody figure out how they wanted to say what they needed to say. Um, and in the beginning, when I started putting out my own stuff, it really was because I was able to take all of the tools that I got from being in the writing room with different artists and writers and applying it to my own stuff. And when I started putting out Jealous Birds and I got to play the Ryman with Cheryl Crow and, and play with Gary Clark, it was just like kind of this whirlwind of like, I can't be writing for people right now um, and I need it, I need that as well, that collaboration piece to fill my cup up. So it's a balance of just saying, what do I need today? Do I feel like I have the songs that I have for my record? Cool, who can I go meet with and collaborate with today? 
Yeah, that's exciting. And so you will join Stephen Wilson Jr. on his Son of Dad tour this fall. Yeah. So what can fans expect from performances and what are you most excited about? Mm. Well, first of all, I love Stephen Wilson Jr. so much. That album absolutely found me when I needed it and he's a dear friend and it just, yeah, I get to be a friend and a big fan. Um, I, it's just gonna be me with Fran. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Fran, that's so good. Yeah, it's so good, Steven, I'm a Fran of you. Um, yeah, it's just gonna be me and my guitar. I'm gonna be playing songs from my album, Scream Over Everything, from a year past putting it out, from a different perspective. Um, and I'm gonna be playing new songs from the album I'm gonna be releasing next year. Well, we're super excited and we're looking forward to seeing your performance. And our last question here, so who are you looking forward to seeing today? Mm. The whole day has been hard to not go see Nora Jones right now. She's <laughs> singing right now and I just want to go scream her songs. Um, spread over there. Spread over there, I will. <laughs> I'm going to go see Leon Bridges. I love Leon so much. Um, and then I'm going to go see Paper Kites. I got to tour with them a year and a half ago. So they've become buds. I'm going to go sing their songs at them and make faces at them. <laughs> and then I'm going to go see Chris and then Blink-182 and then Chris and then Blink-182 and, and just, yeah. Alternate. Yes. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to seeing more of you, Nora. Thanks for being here with us today. Have so much fun today. <laughs>